Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. Welcome to your October 16th through 31st, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, we'll go right into the energy. Ooh, very nice. This is awesome. So you have the Fool, which is the end of, a new, of an old cycle and beginning of the new simultaneously, like at the same exact instant. Snap your fingers and you are in a new realm. This is a beautiful energy. It's the way everybody wants a transition, immediate and finalized on the old, and go right into the next thing without skipping a beat. So... This is perfect for transition for anybody who's got a job change because it means you won't miss your money from one paycheck right into the next. Then we have the Hermit. This is a Virgo Major Arcana and it's the Seeker. This is where you use your divine light to, to oh, so one of my guides is saying to suss out, <laughs> to suss out anything that is false. Your light will show you what is for you and what is not. When you illuminate it with the light of your soul and the light of the divine, it will show you if it is not your path and it, the, what is your path will glow and, and be very much uh, obvious that it is the way to go. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, four of cups, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. All right, so your second cut card was that Four of Cups. Now, if you had that Virgo energy showing you to use the light to show you the true way, that's exactly what that Four of Cups needs you to do. It may not, in the physical, in the natural, it may not look like much. But when you put that light on it, it's going to, to resonate as a divine opportunity because that's what it is. Now, there may be lots of opportunities coming at you, so you want to be direct on that one. And it is there, but I'm not saying it's the only opportunity. That's why you have to use your light, okay? Here we go. Well, hello. Hello. Welcome. So there's your smooth transition right off the bat. The change is imminent. It's really close to happening if it's not already begun. And we're moving into the place of being very much in the flow of abundance. This is the Garden of Eden energy, which means you will be provided for at exactly what you need, exactly when you need it, every single time. And that's an affirmation for you to state when you feel the, the absence of abundance. You have to speak as though it is already true that the universe will provide it. It's already, it's already been set in motion. As you believe that, you actually create it. Because you're in a place where you're feeling like you're in a little bit of a pickle here because you feel like I've just been banging my head against this wall and nothing's moving. And I don't even know if I should be standing here doing this. Yes, you, you do need to keep doing it because this is the moment. This is, like I say, every time, this is as close as you're going to get to a breakthrough right before you break through. So if you walk away from this right now, you will have to begin at a certain point, not, not necessarily the beginning, but you'll have to redo some of it. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> there, as you move forward, this is now the opening that you need to launch you in the right direction following higher guidance. We have the beautiful six of swords, which means moving in the right direction towards new opportunity, following higher self, and that old... Worry wart, eight of swords is here, so you have to stay out of your head. Don't get too far into the to the ch the tail chase here. Remember, these swords are like holograms. They're not sustained, fully formed energy. They're just possibility. So instead of treating them as though they're actual options, you have to ignore that part and allow yourself to not venture off into the what ifs. Okay, allow yourself to stay focused in the center of your energy and to connection to source, and it will make the move. This is not your move. 
It's not time for you to do anything. You have to be still and let the universe work that part out. The Knight of Wands, very active energy. Now it's going to be time for action. That when the time for action comes, it will alleviate you from this little kerfuffle up there. And there's where you get to move forward. So see, you're in this moment thinking, what do I do? What do I do? And then it says, well, it's time for action now because you've just overcome all the lessons and the ob ob obligations that for, for whatever reason they're giving me that word. Um, this is a graduation energy of passing all the trials and tribulations of what's been holding you in place. And you now have the freedom to move forward again with the moon guiding your path. Tower. Tower in the employment area means a change. It can mean removing an obstacle or a person that's been blocking your path. This is a definite restructure for some people or for a business. And it means being set free from what the previous uh, thing was holding you trapped in. We have the Archangel Michael, who's always ready to help you with this debris that's going to be present after that tower comes down. And the Two of Swords. Don't try to make it logical. This is miracle energy, and it'll never be logical. And I know, Cappies, it's hard. Y'all guys like your earth signs. So you like it to be to make sense. But, you know, there are things in this world that are beyond us, and that's where you have to be, connected to Source, right? That's what that's telling you. Stop trying to control it. You're an earth sign, so that's one of your go-to instincts, is trying to just take a hold of it. But that's not the case here. So the magician is here telling you the only thing you have the power to do is move the energy through your belief and manifest your best possible life through that. Use the light, pull it through your heart and use that heart energy to manifest. That's clean karma when you do it that way and you won't have any residual energy dealing with anything you have to make up for. Two of swords again, strong, <laughs> strong message, Cappies. Get out of your head. Get into your spirit mind. Allow yourself to manifest. Think of the best possible version. My best possible life now. Thank you, universe. Right? Let's see what we've got. I've just started shuffling, so I'm just going to go because I was talking at the same time. But don't worry. The cards got prayed on at the same time the other ones did. We have the Eight of, uh, eight of Cups definitely talking about moving out of this into the new. New opportunities being shown, and that's exactly what's with that Fool card. So that's a double double yes on that you've got the nine of rods with the nine of rods next to it so it's solid energy there where stand your ground and keep manifesting death to the old way scorpio major arcana coming in to vaporize whatever's been holding you up and giving you this opportunity for a fresh clean start that white flower is the rebirth energy now this is the cosmic garbage man He's coming in to rid you of the debris that you don't want to take with you through this change of cycle. So let that happen. Let that process happen. There's your ten of rods. Moving forward. Fertile new opportunities. So these two nines build you up for a great ten here. And that's going to help clear the way so you can actually harvest this and move forward. This is releasing you from the struggle. It is allowing you to move past the burdens and start fresh and brand new. So we love that. Ace of Pentacles, restoration and divine resurrection of this energy of a financial uh, platform that feels very stable and secure and new. Archangel Michael again. So you've got Archangel Michael all over the place, guys. That's perfect energy. So it can mean a Libra major arcana, an uh, Aries. I'm uh, not Aries, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Let's try that again. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, not Aries. Aquarius. <laughs> That's the word I was going for. So there's the Leo major arcana coming in. So this is the loyalty and the strength of the universe with Archangel Ariel walking with you as you move forward. Remember, Ariel is the one who keeps you focused on your task and runs off anybody that's trying to interfere. So, yeah, not many people will walk up on somebody who's got a lion beside them. I'm just saying. It also means great loyalty. So, you've got two Archangels right here and he's over here as well. So, it's, it's throughout everything. We love it. 
we have the page of swords that's information that's going to come in that you're going to hear about whatever this change is and usually it means a restructure or a complete um, complete removal of something that's been blocking you now you get to proceed forward that's what this was all about whatever blocks you're having cappies is about to open up for you so get ready six of swords means moving in the right direction and the justice card is whatever you've been trying to focus and get done this is the yes to allow you to have the right decision this is the right decision either being made for you or by you whether it's legally or just in part of your life a, a life choice energy or part of the job energy this is it you've got the beautiful empress here or sorry the high priestess here uh, allowing you to have the connection you need she's right here with this magician so you've really got all you need right there all you have to do is focus and and that's what that that justice card's about and that's what the two of swords is telling you focus on your higher self in that energy of your higher mind using that magician so that's a pretty great reading you get you get to you're finally going to come out of this hold pattern or this feeling of being trapped or just can't get past the the whatever this uh, force field is you're going to break through it and definitely be able to make progress because you've got all this progressive energy moving forward after the holds are broken so many blessings cappies let's see just so you since you understand what i'm saying if there's they're telling me to go back over it this is <laughs> this is the guides so here's the breakthrough energies you have these two eight of cups which means whatever's been the challenge for you you've just completed all the obstacles and you're finished and you're now on the other side of the challenge the two nines are the resistance that you've been feeling to move forward and that 10 is bringing you forward along with these two sixes this is also a breakthrough energy as we let go of what was holding that tower is now gone and you are able to move forward. So you've got this clearing of the old. You've got both Archangel Michaels out here. You've got this beautiful Archangel um, Ariel. You've got restoration coming in and solid energy of being able to have abundance and new beginnings all over the place. You have the Fool as the first card. So that should do it it's solid energy of movement so get ready the breakthrough is is imminent and you will have success at moving forward many blessings to you my friends namaste